Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic will be Montreal Canadiens worst three jerseys. Don and Shrems, take it away. I'm super excited to take you guys to Montreal. One, because I, f I followed, and hopefully it still exists, a poutine blog from Montreal that takes you, like, gives you a map of all the places to go. Yes. That's going to be fantastic. Stop. Sold. Like, moving on. Like, oh, goodbye, folks. Show's over. <laughs> uh, the other reason is, for as old and uh, historic of a franchise Montreal is, they've put out some real doozies. And I would love to see how egregious we can be walking around that city in these sweaters. <laughs> I, I want conversations with people like stopping you on the street, like, my God, what are you wearing? And I feel like there's a few of those in this pile. I I, I want to I want to say something in French, but all of it is Quebec swear words. So That's I fair. Wanna... I appreciate that. All right. So how do you find something so terrible in the Montreal Canadiens? Le Canadien de Montréal. I mean, they, they, they literally the hockey sweater. I mean, this is what started my jersey obsession was reading about Maurice Richard. And hearing the the hearing uh, Rock Carrier talk about it in in the you know the CBC short. If you haven't watched it, pause now. Go look. It's amazing. Really, the start of my hockey jerseyness. Like all this, that book, and he, they, they even offered him do one for every team, and he said no because it's a true story. Yeah, it, like, it was, he wasn't going to just sell it. And like, how do you pick up bad jerseys for this? But they exist. Well, they exist. Oh my goodness, this catalog. <clears throat> And, and arguably, like in one year around 2009, like you could you could make a list of just those four jerseys on their own. Yeah, yeah, you um, really could. But this one, my goodness gracious! Do you want to talk about uncalled for? Just completely. Now, I didn't like the first reverse retro with the the the, the regular blue. Oh, that's not exactly. But that, that is a maybe. dream dream compared to this. Compared to this, go in there, are these. This is the uh, reverse retro 2.0, so this year. So, it's supposed to be a tribute to the Montreal Expos? That's not a good reverse retro. You also wouldn't know that unless I told you it? Yeah. Like, it's just, oh, let's wear baby blue for the first time in our career, in our in, entire in history. Franchise history. 110 and years worth. I believe the fans started, like, screaming they never wear them because they were, like, winless in the first, like, eight games they played these yeah. jerseys in. So, like... Like awful. I think they did win one finally. It's it's there's it's yeah. I mean it's okay. Your only nod to the expos is going to be the baby blue. Like you could have expos esque stripes in there and still look very mod. You take the regular the white jersey with the red shoulders and the stripes at the bottom, and you could expo that better than you could this. Yeah. That that who made the decision be like you know what baseball throwback that's what we should do and just just a color swap like that's it yeah you are a, you are a storied franchise and you miff this hard only time you're going to get the lnh thing in the uh, orange though so you you have like a jersey cam jersey cam in get action in go 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 action phil 20x phil <clears throat> to see it there you go all right yeah so it's, it's, it's on nhl it's lnh league the hockey national you're kidding why it's good I, I, i'm sure it's terrible um, but then look, it's in the vintage for the reverse retro. Only when you're nice gonna find touch. that. Nice touch. Because otherwise they're all silver. But this this time they did the orange to be throwback, but not actually throwback. And then, and yeah, then what's wrong with then. this one? I like it. Well, it's it's not exactly without precedent. Phil, go ahead. I don't even know the precedent. That, who was the precedent at this time? Well, it would have been a prime Thank minister. you so much. So, Phil, so in 1911-12, they wore those. And then in my perusing, I saw that for 38 to 41 in the upper right. Uh, but Montreal does have an R history page that is spectacular oh, for thanks. their, their uh, jerseys, especially pre-NHL. Um, Phil, did I just stamp all over your thing because you didn't say it when I... Well, you don't let me say it. So this is... No, they, they wore that jersey for the uh, NHL 100 anniversary. This is game. Classic. Is it just the yeah. NHL 100 game? Right. Yeah. Uh, you want to bring it back? And uh, it says from 1911 to 1912, but face off, and they wore it from 1938 to 41. Yeah, so, so you, you, you want to show the shoulder patch? It's, it was a La fun, classique. It's a fun little series. Yeah, yeah. What they played Ottawa? Yeah. 
I mean, just, it's so bland. And uh, they inserted this silver stripe, which has all their Stanley Cup years. Phil, you want to, we're going to make you work this episode. But you can see all the years in there, which is a fun little touch. It's a nice touch. I mean, it's just it, so much. And then, it, really, I think what bothers me is that they, they have this gap and stripe here, but you don't have it here. I think I, that really just, I don't know. That, why why omit that stripe when you're already inserting a gray here? Like, why not just put another one there and make it all match? Actually, you put, the, you put this in the baby blue and you're close to the Expo's actual uniform. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're getting better. It certainly isn't bad. Yeah, I, I just nothing about this is good. Nothing is that egregious. It's not the most terrible thing, except for these. Oof, <coughs> there's a lot of fraying going on. I'm surprised. Fanatics usually is high quality. But uh, yeah, it just there's it's this isn't this isn't good. It's not good. But it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I think we all know the worst. All right, batten down the hatches. Watch the cam. Brace the camera. Yeah, make sure the camera doesn't go in and out of focus. Do not adjust your screen. <laughs> it is this bad. Is that how you pronounce that? Heck. Club de Atletica Nadia. Ah. So the barber pole, the one just got in my collection. It is, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe it or not, not my most expensive jersey. It paid about re what you'd retail for a Fanatics with a name on it. Uh, Phil, when they wear this? 2009 for the 100th celebration. And it's based on uh, 20, uh, 1912 to 13. You have the uh, uh, Montreal 100 patch, which you can only see if you look past all the stripes. Something something unique. I, I, I've never noticed this before, that the maker's mark, the, the Reebok Vector, yeah. is actually a colored in patch because otherwise it'd be muddled among oh, the stripes. Yeah. So they actually colored it in and made it a separate patch. They went all out for it. Uh, now, when, when this does get customized, and it will, there is a blue box for the numbers and then the nameplate. Uh, and it actually shows up fairly well because of that blue box. <coughs> but everyone was like, good God, how do you wear that? And then you show them all together. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of strikes. So this this ran in 2009 with a handful of other jerseys. We had the blue yes. centennial, the one that's kind of ish like well, this. Well, yeah, yeah. Big old, blue, big old C blue looks very leafy. The The... The Christmas tree. The red one with a green leaf. Which is most reminiscent sea. of what they wear now. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. The 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 red one. Oh, I thought you were going to mention Oh, that. oh. The, so there's a white one that, that is like their 40s one that, yeah, they, they always show. And then there was the red one. The red one with the green leaf on it that you can't find it. I've never seen no. Like, no one wants it, but you also can't find it. And that's the thing about these jerseys. Nobody wanted them in 2009. It was nice. But they were they were super unpopular. I mean, yeah. for obvious reasons. And then, like five, six, seven years later, they show up and they're impossibly priced. Like you can four hundred, five hundred bucks for these. Oh, things. they're they're six and seven on eBay now. I don't know how I got away with this. This was I think one eighty five, and it's, it's that's a good price. again that's way it's up there on my price. list of what I've paid. Uh, way near the top, and it is it is just so very much, so very very much um for a, such a storied franchise to have this as a worst i mean okay now you know and we're not even going into the full hundred year history we could go way back and find something stupid i'm sure but not really not like this yeah this is... This, the, 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 this is this is shockingly bad considering who it is yeah yeah but not wrong not wrong not wrong no. all right uh he's shrems i'm john phil take us out don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for another episode of Don't Do Thirds. Go, Habs, go!